welfare for MPs and also any new thing. First time we are in parliament in 2002, we get issue welfare business. So the, that time they I remember under Pakaba, where the then Anthony General will become vice president later, Solomon Berra began to go address with the parliament. We don't also get issue of welfare under President Koroma. So not to anything new. And that's why when president appoint me as leader of government business. My first meeting where I get with the president of Sierra Leone, His Excellency Dr. Julius Madabio, the first Smithy where I get with them, the issue of welfare bring and can up to them. And it tell me clearly for say it be there in support of it, it ready for support the MPs, but it be also one for make sure for say let it not just be the MPs and let it be the whole public sector that includes doctors or nurses, teachers and everybody that they be the, it be one for me will look at from that point day. So I be always get that at the back of my mind that the president it they look a whole wholesomely now so it they look at that not just one sector it they look at. and then I also spoke to the Minister of Finance, JJ Safa, more than three uh, four months ago. And JJ in Tell me, say, you ready for support parliament, but in your area of support, really, what you want now on oversight because in belief, say, if MPs are empowered for provide oversight and the corruption will get less work for do. So, I'll be also get that at the back of my mind. So, when this issue of welfare came about in the parliament, we may not be even involved because they're not grieved for many did at all. I remember in one of the meetings the way I enter that meeting day, all man scatter. They say, Me for Kamonado. But then I knew at the end of the day, the box still get for stop with me as a leader, not the place day. So, we go meeting when the speaker called me, uh, speak to me, say, Na so 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 the MPs they want. I immediately call a meeting. I get a meeting with the FS and the the interpreter, Dingy. Now my office for more than one and a half hours, me and the normal discuss. We agree on a whole lot of things for the MPs them. And then the following day, the vice president also called me and the speaker and then the Minister of Finance, the FS, we had a meeting for more or less confirm to me for say look waiting the fs we don't tell you is true me as me they confirm for say this is what government will be able for come with at this stage so went back to parliament i give the documents and to the clerk he went downstairs he addressed them but even before that the day before that i did not office today very late the very day where i get this meeting with the fs and dingy i did not office very late by then around six o'clock the speaker sent called me when i went to the speaker's office i met the chairman of the welfare committee honorable daniel chroma and honorable mara when i the coordinator okay this now which time will they talk about so this is not then days here last okay, week okay now last week we they talk about so right now when this when this proposal don't come up this proposal now we don't leak out we don't come out because this is what we are discussing with the fs so now i explained to them at the meeting i am sitting at the meeting say Mr. Speaker, government not be able to do this at the moment. I said, but what I would suggest we do, or let we adopt what the government able to do right now, what are the given and so. I said, if there is anything else we will able to do, let we put her in the form of a motion, put her on the floor. Once we carry it, it will become law. The issue with topical, not the one we get for do with the amount of um, salary we MP them call for inside one document we leak we na the we didn't say like proposal thirty seven million we na like three hundred percent increment and in other condition of service them make them clear you see we don't make false um arrangements with the fs the minister of finance or other stakeholders them for members them of parliament and salary and condition of service which are the first arrangement we will make with uh, the stakeholders in the financial sector for members them of parliament as compared to this 37 million we can see now first of all the meeting is where they refer to now based on this document what they talk about and one thing one for make one for become very very clear to the people of this country i am with the mps i am 100 percent supporting the mps i deal with them and as far as i'm concerned by law and by practice they have done nothing wrong nothing absolutely they have done wrong i deal with them 100 percent waiting them waiting the document where it leak out it was a proposal that, and it, that, it, seven that seven million. it can even be 50 million so what as far as me concerned a proposal if they don't say or we as mps we don't talk saying that this we want Government say because the law say the con and this is the constitution that they tell you the constitution say we can set with your salary and conditions of service but we also get for do um, in consultation with government taking into consideration the present economic situation of the country so the MPs are not doing anything wrong and I, I support them one hundred percent and I deal with them one hundred percent. You say you deal with MP them people them argument when they gain at the fact say the economy of the country now one way not steady and looking at the parity of government right now not one way get for do with um, other things them about education, healthcare, and other one them. You think say the timing of member them of parliament for bring down such proposal? Look, people say that high one we will be burden to the country economy. Are they right, Tim? This 
first of all, if for even on be the one where the MPs they enter parliament, conditions of service everywhere in the world, nothing we they negotiate. MPs they can come out and talk say we want one hundred million salary. If government can't talk say no, we don't want, we don't get money at this stage. Fine. The MPs and not to foreigners and not to unions, them they know what exactly what the situation with the economy right now. So they go understand. But what I are not able to understand now the fact say the reaction from the people. And remember when you interviewed me a couple of months ago, I told you that the people of this country get for begin for respect the MPs and now that uh, people um, can even the members of parliament don't accuse the leadership because even you say at some point where you want for in have been like go with today on the meeting with member them of parliament and say you know for join them then say the leadership una okay una women they una get a package where governments don't put for una so like we're not even there with the MP them for talk about and condition of service what do you get for say about this you know the former president his excellency dr anas by koma na be opposition leader na parliament when he became president because he don't serve parliament as leader of the opposition for five years so when he became president of Sierra Leone he be know exactly what the situation Parliament. So he introduced something they call honorarium. As for example, me na MP right now, but me na leader. Me salary na the same like any other MP. But they put something from my salary what they call honorarium. Now like uh, more support for me off to maybe the increase. This now the former president, Dr. Anes Baikoma, now introduce him na parliament. Not to this government introduce him. So if anybody to talk about say we uh, we don't negotiate a package, there is no package. Now the same thing we we don't exist before. Now the same thing they and this down there for the past 10 years of the last government. And for example, take uh, the leader of opposition. The leader of opposition is the unless now because of the position we hold. That time when I be deputy speaker, if they earn more, it's because at that office they be they give support. Not to in as individual MP they be they give support that time day. For example, uh, if they earn past me, me, me I be chief whip for the opposition at the time, I mean they get extra 1.5 million. Now, they get more than that. You don't see? So, not to still way in the SFP government introduce them. This is not something we don't they in existence for the past 10 years. So, the issue we get for do with uh, condition of service for MPs, them, is still a one-way topical and even waiting with the understand the fact, say, if government not looking time as, um, on a don't agree for them, say, government for uh, increase um, the budget we don't go to parliament, or not go look inside them. What do you go say about this? No, it's not true. Then they again, that's spec- Speculation that they lie by the MPs then. The MPs then come to government for say, look, now this we want. Government say, no, we're not going able. But even before that, like I they tell you, the Minister of Finance Bidon already tell me, say, before even this budget they come for say, he ready for give support to parliament. So they, they tell we clearly the kind of support they, where they want for give parliament for make the parliamentarians and be very effective at the job. Those are the conditions where they add, oh, if you didn't have, you're not a parliamentary reporter. You remember there was a motion while we the debate the Finance Act, there was a motion where some we one honorable member, honorable Mara Iput, and then honorable uh Ibrahim Tawa Conte, a second arm. That motion they basically it don't become law. Once we don't carry them. So as far as I am concerned, the issue of welfare, it don't done. We don't finish with that one day. So then for P member them of parliament thirty seven million? Not or? at all. Not at all. The president tell me say he want for make sure say the conditions of service for all public sector workers, including parliamentarians them. They want for improve on them gradually. You also recall for say when the Minister of Finance became with a supplementary budget the last time, it made certain increases in salaries of certain categories of public sector workers. And this time around this budget, they also don't include almost everybody per increase of salary for public sector workers. The MPs just fit into those two scenarios then per the salary. So, so at the end decided- of the day, at the end, no, we are all part of it. That's what I'm saying. They're not decide for treats MPs then separately from the general public. No. The scenario where it happened with the with the supplementary budget, MPs were not involved. They don't ever put nothing there for the MPs then. But if you take the two scenarios then and put, and put them this time around with this particular budget, you will find out that the MPs are also benefiting from it. And that's not the only benefit. And when you put them into number, number wise, MP in salary, they go from 12 million to 14 million. 2 so, million. So not to 37 million. Not to 37 million at all. Not to 37 million at all. So, we don't agree now or we delay the issue of um, the other first proposal we leak we get for doing 300% increase to rest or now you just talk a normal now say now 14 million loans they get for the PMP them instead of the 12 million loans they don't eat some up to 14 million. In the first place, I can confirm to everybody that this country as leader of government business that the MPs and salary not to 37 million, that and one. And number two, MPs and salary increase 
a day in line with other public sector workers and your salary increase we don't start from the supplementary budget and this other budget when you put out those two together now the same facilities them where they give the public sector workers and the same facilities them where they inside this budget for the MPs them. And by the way, let me just talk about that leakage. That leakage day, I take full responsibility for them. Me, now me as leader of government business, I they take full responsibility for that leakage day. The reason why I say so, like I said, when that man, the, the welfare committee set up that, prepare that document they, as a proposal, nobody not see him. Me not see him, the leader of opposition not see him. In fact, the only time we me come for know about him, now we will get we day in a meeting with the speaker and the finance people. The well, that's now Honorable Sidi Mohamed Tunis, in the leader of government business now parliament. We they talk to Abdullah Bula inside that interview day. For sake of the request, we member of parliament then say they want the government add their salary to 37 million loans.